Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to discuss interview questions, questions and answers related to reports and dashboard topic that is available in Salesforce admin topic. So first question is what are data analysis tools available in Salesforce? So you can answer like reports and dashboard. What is report? So report is a list of records related to objects that meet the criteria defined. One can filter, group, or do maths on reports. One can display reports graphically through charts. Every report is sorted in a folder. Sorry, every report is stored in a folder. Report folders determines how one can access reports to view, edit, or manage. Report folders can be public, hidden, or shared. What is report type? So if you want to create a report, so we need to select a report type. So let's understand what report type is. So a report type is like a template for reports. Report type determines which fields and records are available for use when one is creating a report. This is based on relationships between a primary object and its related objects. For example, with accounts, with contact report type, account is primary object and contact as related object. Reports display those records that meet the criteria defined in report type. What is report type? So further we have like primary object with related object and primary object with or without related object. So this is also available in report type when you create report type. So you need to choose it. So if you choose with, so it will happen like uh, only common A and B records will be there and with and without. So both like all A records and uh, A with B also. Types of reports. So tabular report, uh, you can simply make a list. Summary report, you can group by rows. Matrix report, you can group by rows and columns. Then joint report, uh, you can have more than one reports together. And if you want to learn like how we can create each type of report, so you can just visit studysalesforce.com and there you can find all the videos related to report and dashboard. What is tabular report? So tabular report is the simplest report format. Rows display records and columns display fields. Filters can be applied. Sorting can be applied. Chart is not supported in this type of report. What is summary report? So this report allows the user to group records based on rows. We can summarize the report based on particular field. This report supports chart. Filters and sorting can be applied. It displays subtotal as well as numeric fields. What is matrix report? So this report summarizes the records based on rows and columns. So we can uh, group the records uh, basis on rows and columns. So for row, you, you can select particular field and for column, uh, you can select another field. So it ba basically creates a grid and show number of records based on grouping of rows and columns. This report also support charts. So for tabular report, you won't be able to create chart, but for summary and matrix report, you can create charts. What is joint report? So in this type, user can create multiple blocks of reports having different types of reports. Each block is defined as a sub report and can have different report type. Each block has its own fields, filter criteria, charts, etc. Now, what is the filters and report? So we have standard filter. Uh, it contains like show me and created date fields, then field filter. So specific to fields. Then we have filter logic, like Boolean condition to control field filters. Then we have cross filter, filter a report by child object using with or without condition, right? So second option, which is field filter, it means uh, you can pick particular field and you can apply the condition. And filter logic means if you have more than one field filter, 
So what you can do, you can just apply uh, one and two or three kind of scenario. Next is charts can be added in which type of report. So you can add chart in summary report, matrix report, and joint report. In joint report as well, if you create summary and matrix report, then only you will be able to create chart. So types of charts available in report. So we have uh, following options like bar chart, column, stacked bar, stacked column, line, donut, funnel, and scatter plot. What is bucket field in report? So bucket field is created in report itself. This field is used to group values of particular field available on the object. It supports fields of type picklist, number, and text. So if you want to group particular records based on some conditions, uh, so you can apply bucket field on particular field. So for example, if you have any uh, numeric field, let's say on account, we have annual revenue field. So you can have the ranges like from zero to 10,000, uh, like on which record annual revenue is zero to 10,000. 10, so they will be grouped together. Uh, if you have a range from 10,000 to 20,000, so uh, that will be another bucket. So this way you can put some values and uh, through bucket field, you can also uh, do grouping like you can use it as uh, like for summary report and matrix report uh, grouping through rows and columns as well about report folder so report folders determines how one can access reports to view edit or manage so report folders can be public hidden or shared we can control access of contents of the folder based on roles permissions, public groups, territories, and license types. Can we share a report with user or group? Yes, we can share report folder. We cannot share individual report. Access levels while sharing report folders. So we have view, edit, and manage. So in view, you can just view the reports. In edit, you can do some changes. In manage, you can share those reports with other users as well. Can we place a report on lightning page? Yes, we can place report on lightning pages, home page, app page, record page. So these three types of pages we have. So we can place reports on any of the page. So if you open any of the page and uh, edit that page through the gear icon, which is available on top right corner. So uh, app builder will be opened. And from left, you can just drag and drop report chart uh, standard component so that your report will be placed. But remember, your report will be placed in form of chart. So if you have chart on your report, then only it will be placed. Report should not be in private folder. That also you need to remember. What is dashboard? So a dashboard is a visual display of key metrics and trends for records in your org. Source of dashboard is private. Sorry, source of dashboard is report. So basically, whatever report you create, you can place them on dashboard as a component. So you can place one report in multiple dashboards components on a single dashboard. So if you want to create a dashboard, so inside dashboard, we create uh, more than one dashboard components and each dashboard component, uh, you can just have a report. So one report can be placed multiple times or you can uh, place different, different reports as well as a component on the dashboard. Having multiple reports on a single dashboard page makes it a powerful visual display tool. Can we place a dashboard on lightning page? Yes, we can place dashboard on below lightning pages. So you can place it on home page, app page and record page. So again, if you open any of the page and edit it, so from left, like in the app builder from left, you can just search for dashboard standard component, drag and drop. And from right hand side, you can select particular dashboard that you want to place. And it should not be in private folder. Can we apply filters in dashboard? Yes, we can apply filters on dashboard as well. About dashboard folder. So dashboard folder controls who has access to its content. If one has access to folder, then only one can access its dashboards. However, to view the dashboard components, one need access to underlying reports as well. Can we share a dashboard with user of group? Yes, we can share dashboard folder. We cannot share individual dashboard. 
access labels while sharing dashboard folder. So we have view, edit, and manage. So view means we can view. Edit means we can do some modifications. Manage, we can share uh, the dashboards with other users as well. Important about dashboard. So each dashboard has a running user. Running user security settings determine which data to display in dashboard. If a running user is a specific user, then all dashboard viewers see data based on security setting of that user, regardless of their own security setting. Dynamic dashboards are those for which running user is always logged in user. Here, each user views the dashboard as per their own security settings. So this is all about like uh, reports and dashboard interview questions, uh, questions and answers. If you want to learn these topics in detail, so you can visit studysalesforce.com. Thank you.